Hello! In this video, we will show you how to do the mapping of revenue recognition fields in NetSuite. We will cover an overview of the purpose, the list of target fields, the types of supported transaction forms, the areas where we should focus on, and the steps to map the revenue recognition fields. As an overview, with Advanced Revenue Management, you can map custom and standard fields from source records to custom and substandard transaction co column fields in the revenue arrangements. Also, body and column fields on the source can be mapped, but only column fields are supported for the target revenue arrangement. Here's a table showing the target fields in their corresponding source field type. Examples. If the target field is Revenue Allocation Group, the source field type would be Custom List or Record. If the target field is Reference ID, the source field type would be Freeform Text. Remember, when the source and the target revenue arrangement form include the same custom column fields, mapping is not required. If you add a mapping rule that uses a different source field for the target, the mapping rule you add overrides the default mapping. Clear the Revenue Arrangement box in the Applies To sub-tab to be sure that there's no other custom field that should be included. The supported source transaction form types are Sales Order, Invoice, Cash Sale, Return Authorization, Credit Memo, Cash Refund, and Journal. When the project management and charge-based billing features are enabled, the project revenue rule is also a source record type. You can only do the revenue recognition field mapping if you have the following roles that has the revenue recognition field mapping permission. Administrator, Revenue Manager, and Revenue Accountant. Now let's go to the step-by-step -step procedure of mapping the revenue recognition fields. In this sample procedure, the sales order will not have the following column fields to be used as default values. Revric start date, Revric end date, forecast Revric start date, and forecast Revric end date. We will now create the custom transaction column fields for these four. Custom Revric start date, custom Revric end date, custom forecast Revric start date, and custom forecast rubric end date. For part one of the process, we will do the following steps. Go to customization, select list records and fields, select transaction column field, then click new. Set the following fields for each. Label, which means custom rubric start date, type, date, store value, will be true with a check mark and applies to is the sales item. Click Save. Click New to create the next custom column field and repeat steps 2 through 4 to create the remaining three custom fields. The next part is creating custom source transaction forms. Navigate to Customization, select Forms, then click Transaction Forms. You'll click Edit or Customize depending on the sales order if custom or standard. On the Custom Transaction form, click the Screen Fields tab, then click the Columns sub-tab. You should see a checkbox next to the four custom fields and they should be ticked. Rename the transaction form on the Name field and click Save. For Administrator role, go to Setup select Accounting, then Revenue Field Mapping in the Revenue Group to open the Revenue Recognition Field Mapping page. For Revenue Managers, you would go to Revenue, select Setup, then Revenue Field Mapping. Using this page, you can create a list of field mapping by completing the following fields. Source Field. Select a field from the list, for this instance, select the four related custom column fields. Target field. Select a field from the list. Custom and standard column fields used on custom revenue arrangement forms are included in the list. 
we will select the standard column fields of start date, end date, forecast start date, and forecast end date for this instance. Description. Add an optional description. Identifying the source form for ease of reference is one example. This is an example of the Revenue Recognition Field Mapping page. The last step is to set up the accounting preferences. You'll go to Setup, select Accounting, then click on Accounting Preferences. Click the General sub-tab and scroll to the Revenue Recognition group of the preferences. Select your custom form from the default Revenue Arrangement form drop-down. Then click Save. This is an example of the Sales Order page. Now you will see that the custom column fields are mapped into the standard column fields on the right screenshot. This concludes our NetSuite video on mapping revenue recognition fields. If you have any questions, please contact us at netsuite at a2q2.com. Thank you.